All right, let's bring in Mick Aussie right now. Edmonton Elk, uh, he's in Edmonton. Happy Canada oh. Day, Mick. What's going on? Yes, absolutely. Happy Canada Day. Got the flag, got the Ottawa Swans, beautiful Canada colored jersey on, and looking forward to the football game hot. tonight and the AFL. Got to be a little hot there, Mick. Uh, jacket. What's the jacket? You got a sweater. You got a flag. Come on, man. Look, look at you. Hey, what's up with your boy Nick Carey goes? That guy's a disgrace. Hey, he's spitting at fans now, Mick. He's out of control. Oh, this guy. what's he doing? He he beats damn that uh, basketball player. I don't even want to talk about him. Ben Nick Simmons. Is the, yeah, he's Nick Kyrgios is the worst Australian sports person of all time. I hope he gets <laughs> smashed. He's a disgrace, and I don't like it the way these young kids think he's cool. Someone compared him to Ilya Nastasi. Ilya Nastasi oh. was genuinely oh. angry. Angry. Oh. Curious is just a clown. He's a flog, as they call it in Australia. He's an idiot. A flogger. I like that. Yeah, I flogger. Like that. All right, Mick. Do you uh, look? They got a, they got a Canada Day barbecue. They got Matt Donigan cooking food out there. This camp should be out there right now with them. Uh, yeah, it's on ESPN Plus right now. All right, I think Edmonton are in trouble tonight. And for the record, guys. I took Edmonton last week, and everyone laughed at me, Dave, because, oh, you're crazy. These guys suck, and they were getting nine points at Calgary. They lost by seven. I won. Tonight, though, I brought it up, Mick. Look, week one, they're in Vancouver. Week two, they go back to Edmonton. They lose to Saskatchewan. Um, week three, they got to go to Calgary and play a good St. Peter team. Week four, now they're in the hammer right now. They played four weeks in a row. They even had a rest. And they're getting beat up. They're starting a kid CIS quarterback tonight. I think the Hamilton Tiger Cats roll them. Like I said, it's going to be like 35, 15, something in that range. I think they beat them by 20. I think you're right. But let's talk about, you've talked about the quarterbacks and good luck to the young kid. But Chris Jones said yesterday that they were equal in training camp with Arbuckle. Yet a few weeks ago, he said Arbuckle was clearly the best in training camp. But what about their running back? James Wilder Jr. was their best player last year in the shortened season. He is out for six weeks, so that's a massive loss. Man, this Hamilton Tiger Cat jersey is badass. What a jersey. Oh, I got to find this. Oh, you got to get ESPN Plus. What a jersey, Mick. Look at this jersey. Do you like it, Mick? It's not even their, their regular black and uh, gold here. It's a gray. Oh, like, it's it's cool. Where's Babano? I always look for Babano on TV here. Where is he? They're showing the crowd here. <laughs> I doubt it. To get that. <laughs> <laughs> He's boring his buddy right now with NHL draft talk. Well, I tell you, Slavovsky <laughs> might not go. Uh, oh, boy. It's a big ass Canadian flag they got on the field there. CFL field is pretty big. That's, that's a big flag. It's a big flag. They just have a little flyover and everything, too. They're going all out here in the hammer tonight. People are extra drunk. And they're angry, too, Dave. The Ticats are 0-3. It's time to take some frustration out tonight. And, oh, yeah, Edmonton have the worst pass defense in the CFL. They give up 283 passing yards a game. So you like over? I'm worried about Edmonton scoring it up, but I think Hamilton will, I think, like, 34-15 gets us to 49-ish. Right? But I'm a little concerned about Edmonton scoring. I'm just laying the points, and you know me. Normally, I'm all oh, let's do this and right, that, and right, all. like right, no, right, like I'm just like not nah, right. late a six and a half, like as well. You know what I mean? What do you think, uh, Mick? Uh, what's your final score prediction tonight? Give us a final score. Yeah, I think you're not far off. Probably like thirty fourteen or something like that. Hamilton win, but I hope I'm wrong. I really hope Edmonton do well because I'm going to be here next Thursday when Calgary are here, and we need the crowds. But well, you got lucky, Gabe. I see you betting lots on the BC lines, only covered by one point. So I mean, you lucky. get three grand or something. You're crazy, mate. You're crazy. But good on you winning. But you got to get lucky. And you got lucky with the stamps not covering last week. That was close as well, mate. So now it's up. They got up to three dimes last night. Oh. Right, that was, <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, so last night, I just couldn't stop. It was a it was a tough game, Mick. It was on the road, Dave. It was only my it was a pick em on the road, and I was like, you know what? They're not losing. Throw the ball down the field, especially when you're wearing a cool uniform like that. Yeah, we got the picture. We got the shot. Great job, Parker. Um, 
Man, oh, look at those. Great looking jersey. You should really see the helmet, too, how it looks on the field. Really, really slick. Kind of looks, it looks like, uh, look, it says the hammer. Too, that's the nickname for the city of Hamilton, the hammer. That's great. It says the hammer, right? And like it's like, it, uh, it sort of looks like army. It looks like the army, navy, the cool alternate army jersey. The Steel City. That's the Canadian Steel right. City. Ha yeah, Hamilton. that's. I was going to say we got some black and gold there. I like. I like that yeah. a lot. They were there before the Steelers. They were, you ripped them off. <laughs> really? Okay, Mick. So what's what's your CFL pick for uh, tomorrow's game? Alouettes Riders, and then uh, Monday Bombers uh, Argos. And what do you got for us in the AFL? Oh, tough one. I hope the Alouettes continue and win against again against those watermelon head riders, but a tough one. But I will take the Owls on the plus, and I did take them to win just because I don't like the riders. And I think the Bombers will probably get it done against the Argonauts, even though it is in Toronto and the Argos got smashed last week. They might come back. Bombers to cover, I think, as well. AFL, round 16, mate. So we've got got about seven rounds left. All right. So what's the most important? What's your bad? What's the most important game? I'm getting the AFL standings up uh, here. Okay, nice. Mick. So Essendon and Sydney. So we got the Bombers and the Swans here. I'm looking uh, for the, you know, the, the, the top eight battle here. We got Adelaide and uh, Melbourne. Well, we know Adelaide aren't uh, battle. <laughs> what about Adelaide? 28 and a half, Mick. What are, you, what are you looking at here? On these games on our screen here, we have Essendon, Sydney, Adelaide, Melbourne, Geelong, and North uh, Melbourne. All right. I think the Sydney Strongs will destroy the Essendon Bombers. Your Eagles even beat the Bombers last week. It's in Melbourne, but the Sydney Swans should get that done. I like the Melbourne Demons to cover as well. They just cruising along and they smashed the second to top team, the Lions, last week. It's in Adelaide. If Melbourne are switched on, they'll win that easily. And uh, the big games of the week is the Magpies versus the Suns and the Power Pap Smears versus the Dockers. They have some real implications in the final eight. Uh, you know what, though? I like these first games. Normally, I'm always weary about these big favorites in the AFL, but I think we're on to something here tonight. I think we got a parlay here, Mick, or as you say in Australia, <laughs> a multi, and it's not Burger King. It's uh, Hungry Jacks. Did you know that, Dave? <laughs> Burger King is called Hungry multi, Jacks. Same company. Is it really? Yeah. It's called Never Hungry heard Jacks, of that. Day, though. Didn't know yeah. that either. Same food, though. We got Whopper actually... and all that. Looks better I'm in Australia, though, up. Mick, for whatever reason, right the now. commercials. The, what, what are you pulling G, up here? G Long Cats. It says the G Long Cats. 66 and a half <laughs> on my bookie. Is that possible? Oh, yeah. That, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's your graphics well, they're, 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 they're 69 they're 80, and a half. the one on the money line. I never seen what? that, Mick, in the AFL in the game. We always talk about the correlation of the money line. I put it this way Melbourne are 27 and a half point favorites, but they're only five to one on the money line. Uh, G Long are are sixty six and a half point favorites, but eighty to one on the money line. I can't lose. Uh, what's the parlay? That's... Sydney Swans, Melbourne Demons, G Long Cats, minus one forty three. How about this, Dave? How if we take G Long be? off the parlay, it's one forty eight. It moves at five cents only. <laughs> <That's> it. <laughs> I, is it worth even checking the score to put that on? Uh, I don't know. Should I just take it out or no? They're gonna. They're not losing. Geelong. Geelong not losing. No. Kangaroos. I, it spread looks so weird. Sixty. I'm playing it. Two hundred dollar parlay. Here we go. Sydney. Well, the Swans. Tigers in there. Hey, Dubsy's coming on. Wait. Did he say the Tigers? Yeah, well, I got the Swans. Tigers. Well, that, no, I'm not waiting. Uh, no, no, that's that's tomorrow. Night. That's all that's the way night. Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, yeah, that's overnight way. Saturday, Dave. No, go with what I did, Dave, right now. I, I just put 200 on it. Sydney, so, Melbourne, uh -huh. uh -huh. Geelong, money line. So, so when I wake up tomorrow, that'll be results. That'll be done. Yes, sir. Yep. <laughs> Sydney, the matches. Melbourne. Now, I don't have a money tonight. line on Geelong. It's a minus 66 and a half. Uh, so you don't need it. It only moves five cents. Just play. Right, just play it. Sydney, right. Sydney and right. Melbourne. All right, great stuff, uh, Mick. This right, is my too. first ever Australian Rules Football League 
Play. You're in? Ever. Sydney and Melbourne? I'm in. Dubsy's joining Sydney us after. He's a Sydney Swan fan. So if they lose, we're totally can blame him for this. Just say <laughs> your team's like. Oh, that's it. We're definitely blaming them. <laughs> that's no question. You know, it's crazy. Look at how he's dressed, actually. So you got LA and you got the Pirate, the nice mix here. But that's actually the uh, the Sydney basketball team, Mick. They dress like the Lakers. They have the same, the Sydney basketball team. Oh, do they? Team in the NBL, yeah. The, those colors. What do the Swans wear in the uh, in the AFL, though? Similar to this, mate. Very similar. It is. It's Sydney red and Harbour white, Street. huh? Yeah, this oh. is the Ottawa Swans jersey. Very similar. But Andrew Bogart, he's, he played for the uh, Sydney uh, Kings recently, and he's quite outspoken, but I like him, the former uh, NBA number one pick. <laughs> oh, Andrew Bogart. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's an yeah. anti-vaxxer uh, guy now or whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So Mick, what's on the bitching. agenda for the weekend? What are you doing for the weekend? Yeah, Canada, a big uh, party for you, Mick. I'm going out tonight. Go downtown with a girlfriend, have a look around the Canada Day celebrations, go to the bar, have some beers, and then uh, watch AFL and CFL all weekend. Maybe do a bit of uh, kayaking and maybe some oh tennis because I love the tennis wow. as well. Kayaking? What are huh? you going to go kayaking? What a, I would have not made you for a kayak guy. You made a call last week though with that concert, and you sent that picture. I oh yeah, yeah they couldn't get in. What happened? The people got. What a good what move you made by not going into that concert. <laughs> there were so many people. Oh, what was that, Mick? Yeah, it was the Garth Brooks concert. So there was nearly sixty thousand people there. Wow. What I did, I sat at the end zone bar. It's now a restaurant. There was people in there beforehand. During the concert, there wasn't many there. A mate came and sat with me. And then afterwards, mate, even Babano or Bobby in Vermont might have picked up a cougar because it was fired up with the cougars that have been on some drinks <laughs> or whatever else. It was unbelievable. Uh, maybe I got that country music scene all wrong. Yeah. yeah. All right. Hey. Wine dancing going on. Yeah. Ah, uh-huh. <laughs> we got that. We, we got it all wrong. All right, good stuff, Mick. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we got the parlay in, so let's let's hope it hits. It's in. Better. Enjoy the, enjoy the celebration, Mick. Have Happy Canada weekend, Day, Mick. and same to you, July Fourth, Dave. See you later. Hey, Thank when's you. Australia's Day, Mick? When's the Australia Day? Uh, January twenty sixth. Oh, everything's oh, okay. yeah, it's summer. Then it's yeah, it's backwards. Right, yeah, That's right. Yeah. Everything's back.